Let's kick off 2022 with my five exercise tips and why they work so you can build an exercise routine with ease. Welcome back everyone and welcome if you're brand new here. I'm very excited you found my channel. My name is Karen and I'm the body and mind transformation coach for women with ADHD. And what that means is I show you how to get fit and nourish your body without the overwhelms so you have, the stamina to go on weekend hikes with friends, the energy to play with your kids, and the strength you had in your 20s. I show you how to do this by diving into those subconscious beliefs that you're holding. Really, it's that negative loop in your head that's telling you you can't do this. You failed all the times before. What's different this time? The ones that are just really making you lose hope. And we change those subconscious beliefs so you stop self-sabotaging all the time. So watch all these videos on my YouTube channel because I show you how to do that. And of course, working one-to-one -one with me, we dive really deep to make lasting changes on this. And I will share more of that at the end of this video. But on to my five extra exercise tips that will have you working out in a consistent routine with ease. Number one, workout first thing. Now I say this all the time and I really mean it. Start your day with focus and feeling in control. And you do that by movement. So it's gonna wake up your body and brain, which is also really great. But when you can start your day with movement, it pauses your brain so you can be in control of what you actually wanna do that day. Now, this doesn't need to be a full workout. It can literally be a five minute dance party in your kitchen, a walk in nature with your dog or, or your cat. For me, it's a full workout every morning or most mornings. This also helps me create space from the time I wake up before starting my work day. It's like that nice little kind of transition activity. So why this works. Well, there's many reasons why it works, but before your brain can start to ping around when you wake up, you're harnessing your brain. You're saying, no, we're gonna move our body. When you can feel into your body, I mean, you get a dopamine hit, which is amazing, but it makes you feel in control so you can then choose what you wanna do with your day or what you wanna do in that next moment. Another reason it's so effective is it is a system. A system's giving you really well, what you know what to do next. You wake up, you know you're gonna go work out. When you have that, you start to build trust in yourself because you're like, I'm going to work out first thing in the morning and remove my body. That's a promise to yourself. When you keep a promise to yourself, it's going to build trust. It's going to give you structure and that is going to help you continue with this whole pattern. And I mean, you get a dopamine hit from it, which makes you want to do it again. And I'm going to go into all these in more detail before I ramble on and get away from ourselves. Let's go into number two. The second top exercise tip is exercise doesn't have to suck find movement you love. Now I also say this all the time. I want you to ignore what you should do for exercise and follow instead what excites you and what feels good because you're gonna get results with the thing that you stick to. So why this works? We're more likely to do something when we follow a feeling, positive feeling, versus just like a task or action. Like think of the restaurant you went to last week. If you had a really good time, you had really good food and a good experience, you're more inclined to go there again. You remember that feeling. This is especially true when you do something that gives you a dopamine hit, like exercise. Dopamine makes us want to do it again. So if you do something you love and you get a dopamine hit from it, it's gonna be so much easier to do it again and to challenge yourself in it in some sort of your favorite exercise and that's gonna give you results. But if you hate it every second of it, even if you get dopamine from it, you're not gonna really wanna do it again. Kind of defeats the purpose. So ignore what you should do. Like if you think you should go to the gym, but you hate the gym, don't go. Case in point, I love doing circus. I love lifting weights. Those things are so easy for me to consistently do. If someone said, let's go play a game of soccer, I'm probably not gonna go. That does not sound fun for me. So find something you love and you will get results and stick with it. Number three, be present when moving your body. So movement or exercise can act like meditation. It forces you to be fully here now in the present moment and in your body. So many of us hate meditation. So why not get double the benefits of strengthening your body and your mind at the same time? So how you do this, find movement that fully uses your body and your brain. So I like to do hill sprints or some sort of high intensity workout or cardio because I'm just so focused in the moment of like running up those hills and running down and running up and down and moving my limbs and using all my muscles and breathing that I don't have time to let my brain wander. And I'm just fully focused on my body and making my body work and do the activity. So why this works is when you can feel into your body, this is like somatic work, it pauses your brain. Our body has so many 
answers. So if you can pause your brain, feel into your body, it's gonna give you more clarity and focus because you can then be intentional what you wanna do next. And movement is such an easy way to start to learn and strengthen this pattern of feeling into your body and pausing your brain. Especially if you hate meditation, guys. Okay, number four create a system. I talk about this all the time as well. I talk about all these things all the time. You need a system to start and stick with and a movement or exercise routine. You can't be intuitive if you have no foundation to base it on. Your fitness system is your foundation. Now a system is like putting your exercise routine on autopilot. So you don't need to think about what you need to do, what you need to prep for it, what items you need for it. Because once we start to plan and think of all the things we need to do or didn't do, then we get distracted and we don't follow through and you know we end up like wandering around our house doing dishes cleaning this part over here walking our dog for a bit you know you know the story now the goal is not to just be a robot when you work out and be completely mindless no it's about automating all the parts of your exercise routine like laying out your gym clothes and knowing what workout you're gonna do tomorrow or doing the same workout every monday and the same workout every tuesday and working out the same relative time every day and going to a different room of your house to work out, like having the same process so you can be fully present when you work out which goes back to tip number three that is very important and then you can really enjoy the workout as well so why this works systems are like habits once you create it you can always fall back on it what a system is gonna do it's gonna build trust in yourself because you're essentially making a promise with yourself and being like I'm gonna work out first thing tomorrow morning and then you do it you just kept a promise to yourself which is then gonna build trust that you can do this you 100% can do this once you build trust in yourself, you can then be more intuitive with your movement routine. You know, maybe you're going to work out at a different time in the day, depending on how you feel, do a different workout, depending on what you feel. And because you have that foundation, that system, you're able to do that without falling off. And if you ever do fall off, you literally get back on the next day because you have that system to fall back to. Now, most importantly, systems work when you have the mindset piece in place first. So watch my videos. Let's dive deeper on all the mindset stuff in my other videos because I show you how to do that. Okay, tip number five join forces in other words find a friend a community workout buddy someone to support you with now my goal for you and your goal should be as well to be completely self-reliant on your exercise habits by using all these tips and strategies i have in all my videos on this channel but for myself even after like 15 plus years of consistent focused exercise i still love and appreciate having a community to support me with when you know i want to talk exercise or talk circus things and look at new circus and silks moves or having a friend to go for a run with or being able to drop into a fitness class or just talking fitness type things with friends. It makes me feel not alone in my wellness journey and makes me feel like I'm not navigating these roadblocks alone, that there's others navigating them as well. Because when we can see other people on the same journey who are struggling with the same things or having similar wins or successes or interest in the same things or you know have that same journey or we see ourselves in their journey, it makes us feel like we're not on an island and we're not alone. And it makes us feel human and normal that, hey, if they can do it, I can do it. If they're struggling with that, I'm struggling with that. Okay, well then I'm not so different. We can figure this out together. You are uniquely you, but we're also all human. We go through a lot of the same things, especially if you have ADHD. You're among friends here. When you can see to believe other people can do it, it's gonna change your subconscious, tell you that you can do this too. If you're needing that community or needing that support and personal personalized guidance on, you no know, creative fitness system, and finding exercise that doesn't suck and gets you results, I invite you to work with me in two different ways this year. The first one is my 12 week transformational fitness identity course. And what this is, is a beautiful 12 week program where you're gonna have an exercise habit at the end of it that feels like a natural part of your life, of your day, along with eating healthy, having morning and night routines, ways to manage stress, be more mindful, all of that feeling really easy and not suck and not having the overwhelm that goes with it. And it's transformational because not just are we focused on surface level stuff of exercise, eating healthy, morning night routines, but we're diving deep into those subconscious blocks that are keeping you self sabotaging that are essentially that negative loop in your head telling you you can't do this so if you're doubting yourself we've had bad experiences and you just can't get out of that negative cycle this 
program is for you. If you're truly ready to make a change, this one is for you. However, I have a second program which is newly launching this week for the very first group call and it is the ADHD Wellness Community. It is a monthly membership program where you get weekly calls with myself and the group and I'm gonna coach one of you live on the call. So just like I said in the community aspect, you can see other people on the same journey and it makes you feel like you're not alone. If they can do it, you can do it too. Plus we have Q&A calls if you have a question you wanna to bring to the call and get coached on it or you can be volunteered to be live coached for the whole call. And there's a community group online as well, close knit community group where again, you can reach out and feel supported by other women just like yourself. And this is great if exercise, healthy eating isn't a huge focus for you right now. Maybe you have other things going on in your life. Maybe you had bad experience with coaching in the past. Maybe you're just like so doubting yourself. You're like, I don't know about this. Or you've never had coaching before. So you're also like, I don't know about this. Maybe financials are low, all those things. This one is for you. It's the cost of a dinner out. It's like easing your way into coaching and also having that huge community aspect to it as well. I could ramble on for days because I'm just so excited about these two amazing programs that I've been fine too but I'm gonna link it below with details and how to sign up. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe because if you want to make exercise a consistent part of your life without it sucking, then subscribe. Follow the videos, binge on them, grab your free morning and night routine, which is also linked below, and tell one friend to watch this as well. They may be struggling with exercise and making a consistent habit and they need to hear this. Lastly, something fun, because I said lastly a few times, I recorded this and then I realized it didn't plug in my microphone. Yeah, so we had to do that again. And yeah, my microphone's sitting on a plywood box toilet. Yeah, I live in a tiny home. It was a DIY toilet. It's the old toilet. We have a new one now, but it's still kicking around. Anyways, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.